As usual, let's start with image planes. I will go to top view, press shift and V, go to back and select image plane. Let's offset the X so it will it will match with the X axis. Okay, then let's do the same thing for the right view. Press shift and V, select image plane. But this time I will rotate it and let's offset the Y. Then I want to do one more thing. I will add a cube, make it editable. And I will try to match the mouse shape perfectly. Then I will switch to right view. But before that, I will select these points. And these points are in the front, but in this image plane, it's the opposite way. To change that, I will change my camera to left. Now it should be fixed. Yeah, but I think I need to change my Y. No, let's keep it that way. I think we are good to go. I will delete that cube. And go to mesh, select polygon pen. I will create my first polygon. Then I will press control and extrude. Now I can close here. Make sure that you have a low polygon mesh, which is going to be easier for us to modify and get a really smooth surface. Now I can switch to left view. I will select all the points and move them up. And whenever I get kind of shapes like circular, smooth, like spherical, 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 I to say, I don't know. I will always use that Spotify deformer and I will roughly get that mouse shape. Then I will put that under my polygon object. Set the strength to 100. Now I can scale my polygon object. It doesn't have to be perfect, just get the basic shape. Then I will right click and say current state the object and delete. Now let's switch to points mode, deselect all and select brush with the smear mode on. Now I will simply move the points. Also you can change the strength and radius by middle clicking. Left, right, up and down. Alright, let's do the same thing for the top view. But to get a better result, I will first set these points, axis position to zero, also the size of zero, because I will use that X axis for my symmetry. Select object, press Alt, select symmetry. Also, if you create any object with polygon pen, its center axis will be always in the zero, in the word coordinates. So keep in that mind. Then I will put a subdivision surface. Switch back to brush tool. So because I used symmetry object, the middle points are pushed down, so I need to move them to Let's check the mesh and it looks flawless, so we can continue. Let's select these edges select the first one then press ctrl and shift and select the last one press ctrl and extrude 
let's move these up because there is not much space because and i'm gonna make another extrusion too also i need to move them to left Also, these ones. Let's make another extrusion. Select these ones one more time. Press Ctrl and extrude. And I'm going to move the points to get the shape. But it doesn't have to be perfect because I will change them later anyway. Just get the basic shape. okay it looks nice let's make the last extrusion select them on select them one more time press ctrl extrude but this time i will switch to scale press t scale them then press shift so they are gonna snap then scale them to zero and put them something like that or you can Go to coordinates and set the y to zero. Also, let's scale this on the z axis. And let's scale them slightly on the x axis, but I want to scale them from the center so I will not destroy the symmetry. To do that, press T, go to modeling axis and change the x to 100 percent i think that's enough but i will add a loop cut right in the middle so i can scale this like that okay now let's check the mesh with the subdivision surface on let's switch to light view and i think we need to move some of the points switch the points mode then select and move them and i will move that point so these three points are gonna be straight or not that straight something like that then i will push that point on the x-axis so if you ask how do you know that there is something like that on the mouse because i have the same mouse <laughs> anyway also according to my mouse these points should be linear and i will smooth that point you can do that sliding them back and forward Okay, now let's close here. I will select this one, then select Ctrl Shift and select that one. I will leave this to the edges. Press Ctrl, Extrude, then set the X position and size to zero. Now I will select these points and fat them. Also, let's add a loop cut right here. Now it's time to make this editable. So I will go to subdivision surface and set my subdivision editor and renderer to one. Then I will make subdivision surface editable, press C, select the polygon object and delete that site because I will use symmetry one more time. Then let's switch to left view and select the seams so these are gonna be the seams but they are not perfectly in place let's switch to points mode to select all select brush and try to try to match that shape then it is going to be my second seam and it is a little off too so switch to points mode and move this 
two. I think this is enough. Now I will select the first theme, then press V, selection, till selection, select that UV islands, uh, sorry, polygon islands, then right click, split, go to original one and delete the polygons. Switch to edge mode, I will select the second seam. And I will press U and F, or you can go to selection, select field selection, and select that polygon group. Right click, split, go to original one, and delete this. Also, I will put that subdivision group into a symmetry. Press Alt, select symmetry. Now let's try to add these middle details. But for that, I will hide these ones so I can see it better. So first thing, I will select these middle edges and move them like that. Then I will right click, select edge cut, uh, sorry, line cut. Check single line. Then put my first cut here. Then I will press shift and finish the cut right here. Then let's make another line cut. But for that, I will switch to points mode. Select slide and move this point like that. Maybe I can use uh, slide that one to here and that one here. Then I will right click, select line cut and cut right here. Also here. Then switch back to slide tool and move these points. Also, I will slide this back because they are too close to here. They may cause shading or smoothness problems. Also, let's select these edges. Select slide, press control. I will use this for the bevel. At this point, I can delete these polygons. Now let's try to make here. To do that, I will switch to points mode, select line cut, and make it one cut here so I can use that point. And I will set this point's position to zero and slide it back. I will Create another line, line cut right here. Switch back to slide tool and move it like that. Then I will use that edge as a supporting edge. Just like that. Nice. Let's now select all the polygons. Select extrude. Turn on caps and extrude. But before that, I will go to my symmetry and enable these options. These options are going to delete these center polygons automatically. Like, let me show you. If I turn on turn off symmetry, you will see that the middle points are deleted. If I turn them off and extrude. You need to delete them, selecting them by manually and set their position to zero. So it is always easier to select these options and move on. Let's make an extrusion like that. Then I will select the inside because nobody is going to see them. But before that, I forgot to move these polygons, select them, Let's change your Axis orientation to normal and push them down. Actually, I need to move the points, not the polygons. Like that. Now switch back to polygon mode, select all and extrude. Then delete inside. So now 
I think I am gonna have a problem right here. But first, let's put a subdivision surface. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a little bit pinching right here. Let me add a sporting edge quickly so you can see it better. Select them, select slide, press control. Yes, there is a subtle pinching right here. I can get rid of them by moving these edges up so that I will get a flat surface, which is going to reduce the pinching. Let's see. Yes, it's not coupling the gun, but if I move this edge a little bit, yes, no, it's a lot better. But I need to move this up to kind of compensate. But I think it's pretty good. Also, let's select these edges, double click on them, select slide, press control. Also, let's add these loop cuts. And the last one here. Also, if you can see, I don't know, but there is a little bump or dent here. So you can put your fingers. So I will slightly move them down. Perfect. Okay, now let's enable the second object. I want to slide these a little like that, so I will get a better smoothness. And this is enough. Now I will select all the polygons, right click, extrude, and I will use the previous extrude, so say new transform. And if you remember the symmetry object, these options, sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know why. It is a bug or something. I don't know. So in that, in that case, you need to select these middle polygons manually, set their position and size to zero, then delete them. Let's enable subdivision surface and add our loop cuts. Add sporting edges like here and here. Perfect. Now I will enable the last object. And in this one, I am not going to make an extrusion. I will select these edges. They are already selected. I will select extrude and extrude edges inside. Then I will press shift and change the orientation. Something like that. Then I will add my sporting edge. But I think that extrude orientation is too much. So I will go back to my extrude and move it something like that. So I can't see the inside. Let's keep it that way at the sporting cut. Turn off the other objects. Yes, this is a lot better. So I want to show you something else. If you can see that shape is not circular, curved. So that edge is too sharp to fix that. Let's use soft selection. Press E, go to soft selection and enable that. But decrease the radius. And move the points. Yeah, now is a lot better. And don't forget to turn off it. Now let's try to make the wheel. To do that, let's use a cylinder. Change the orientation. And what a luck. It is just like the exact radius. 
So let's turn the high segments to one and add three attrition segments. Something like 44, let's say 44. I will make it editable. But before that, let's add some. I think we need to add some height segments. Something like that. Then I will make it editable. I will select these polygons. Then I will scale them. Then let's select these edges. Select bevel. But I will add one more subdivision. Create something like that. And let's connect these. And I will solo that. So I can see better. And I will slide that point to that one. Press Ctrl. This is gonna last them. Also, let's make an extrude inner. So these edges are gonna hold that shape. So basically, I will move that edge down let's press alt and select subdivision surface mm, i think we need to weld this into one let's press q yes this is a lot better but i don't want to do that for all of them i can select this invert the selection then delete since my center axis is right in the middle, I can use cloner objects. Press Alt and select cloner. And I think we had 44 segments. So I will change my cloner mode to radial and put 22 here. Set the radius 0. And let's change the plane. Yes. I will put that cloner into a connect object. Press Alt and select connect. And let's enable subdivision surface. I think I need to increase my phone angle. And I think the shape is a little off. Yes, I will move these points like that. Alright guys, that was it. Hope you find that tutorial useful and I see you in the next tutorials. Bye.